As the first Chinese to earn a PhD degree from Teachers College, Columbia University in 1914, Kuo Pingwen returned to China after graduation and founded the first modern Chinese university with Western-influenced education policies and curriculum design. In addition to his dedication to modern Chinese higher education, Kuo was also a pioneering statesman who fostered diplomatic relations and cultural exchange between the East and West. To celebrate Kuo's life, achievements, and legacy, a panel discussion on Kuo was held at Pace University. Among the panelists were Caroline Xu, great grandniece of Kuo Pingwen, and Ryan Allen and Ji Liu, the editors of Kuo Pingwen, scholar, reformer, statesman. He is one of the great modern educators of China, and he emphasized、uh, modern curriculum. But, however, one should keep in mind he was firmly entrenched in the traditional belief that one should not neglect building of character. In his curriculum, ethical education was the integration of traditional and modern teaching methods, which upheld the idea of the ideal man or woman. First of all, I wanted to highlight、uh, Dr. Kuo's,、um, you know. One of his foresights of、uh, viewing internationality、uh, with a very deep cultural root in, in the Chinese heritage. The second part is he was very rooted in his、uh, Chinese heritage. He was very involved with the Chinese Student、uh, uh, Alliance at Columbia. He had a very、uh, international outlook, but at the same time, he was very engaged with the Chinese community on campus. After he has this experience in Teachers College, after he has this experience、uh, as 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 a leader of universities in China, he comes back to the United States and he has this new、uh, found、uh, drive to teach the Americans、uh, about China. It wasn't just that China had to learn from the Americans. Now, really, was about. The Americans have to learn what's going on in China. The Ch- Americans have to learn what the Chinese are doing. So, 1925,、uh, he is working at, at the Harris Foundation. He's giving lectures all around the country. He wanted the everyday man to understand what was going on back in China, what was going on in the Chinese community here in America as well. Kuo is undoubtedly a symbol of transnational learning. His passion for China and the sense of commitment to his mother country sets an example for many international students to follow today. The panelists also shared their thoughts and opinions on what Kuo Pingwen's legacy means to the 21st century, as well as how to nurture another Kuo Pingwen in a modern context. The the key to having another Guo Pingwen is not about the way to train individuals, but about the way to instill um, uh, and uh, and character and to motivate um, you know uh, in the family in in schools uh, having uh, a sense of calling um, to individuals to students to the next generation to make them、uh, really believe. In in the in that they can make a difference. The students who came pre 1949, so say starting 1880, their goal was not so. Oh, I can go and see what America's like or have a, a better education. It was really I want to help my country move forward. So the students coming post 1980 really have the m- mindset as oh I America's education is better than China I want to get a better education I want to see the world so there really isn't that sense of mission so that mission has to actually be homegrown. I think Guo Pingwen actually inspired me、uh, that you know ideas still matter, you know humanity still matter, because I think those subjects can actually、uh, create a much more well-rounded,、uh, critical thinker、uh, who know how to adapt and also who know how to contribute in any crisis situation.